Podcast starts now with meteorologist Dan Tomaso. So right now we're about 10, even 15 degrees warmer than we were at this time yesterday. And when it starts this warm, and we're not seeing a big drop over the next couple of hours, it is going to be a very hot day. It's only going to take about 20 degrees to get into our upper 90s later this afternoon. Millersville, 77 degrees. This is also telling me there's a lot of moisture in the air to stay this warm overnight. Harrisburg, Wildwood Park at 76. Edders at 76 degrees. Halifax at the same number. Very light winds at this hour ahead of what could be a stronger front later today that would bring in some showers and storms. We'll talk about that in a moment, but yesterday's high 90 degrees. So we started things off one day at 90. Now we really go up the record for today, and we've been mentioning this for the last couple of days, 99 set back in 1940. So we won't likely hit a record today, especially with showers and storms around, but still pretty impressive heat in general. We've had one cell try to develop over parts of Cumberland and Perry counties, not really having a Good time trying to get its act together, but off to the west and off to the northwest, we've been seeing showers and thunderstorms developing. This entire line is kind of marking the front that's going to come through later. The question is, what's the timing like? Do we actually see this move through during the peak heating of the day? Is there mostly our eastern counties that get it, or do all of us have a chance of rain? It's still something that it's a wait and see process, but certainly holding together along parts of I 80 and to the north of I 80. Impressive stuff for this hour of the morning. Not severe at this time, but some heavy rain and some gusty winds are likely with that as it passes through. Temperatures in the middle to upper 70s, near 80 degrees in Washington, D.C. This is what I'm talking about, though. The dew points, upper 60s, low 70s. The dew points were about 10 degrees cooler yesterday. So our fair forecast calling for that chance of showers and storms today. It may be a good thing to get a brief shower or storm to kind of knock temperatures back temporarily, but tomorrow that's not really a threat. Dry weather, 97 degrees. By Saturday, highs near 90, hit or miss showers and storms that we have to track. But it's all because of this big ridge of high pressure. It's been building over the last couple of days with the heat, but this front still has to come through later today on the northern side of that high. Hence the chances for showers and storms. So let's take you through precision cast. This is the latest model run that we have, and this is kind of the issue I'm talking about through about eight, nine o'clock. Not much going on, but some showers and storms over the mountains that want to fade in the models. We'll see if that actually happens. I think many of us do get a chance of rain out of that, and then heading into the afternoon redevelopment with the heating of the day leads to yet another line of showers and storms before that takes off to the south and southeast of us. Notice it kind of drags through the region. It takes a while to get out of here. So that's why I'm still holding out hope that many of us get a chance of rain today before we dry out tomorrow. Saturday, also a decent chance of rain with scattered showers and storms. That actually marks a much different weather pattern because after Saturday, things turn much nicer. For the first week of August, low to mid 80s, a lot of sunshine and no rain through the first half of the week. That could arrive by next Thursday and Friday. But man, what a turnaround. Next week does not look sticky. No, it, it really doesn't. Now, a lot of the heat is still going to be west of us, so it could get hot again for the middle part of August, but mm -hmm. to start out, does not look that way. All right, thank you, Dan. Sure. We'll be right back.